Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Hungerford Town in the National League South. Adam, uh, Tunbridge Angels on Tuesday night, that was a game called off, we're meant to have. Has that been of any benefit at all or is that quite frustrating to miss out on a game? No, yeah, I think um, you just want to keep the games rolling really. Um, you know, try and put things right from Saturday. Um, and if you've got a game Tuesday, it's very easy to do that. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, the last thing we want is, um, you know, there's thunderstorms and, you know, real gusts of winds and, and stuff like that. And some of the, the ground was just unsafe. Um, so, you know, you can't have people struggling to get here and um, then getting here and, you know, being unsafe at all. So, um, yeah, the, the right call and, and you just got to get on with it. And, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. We can't do nothing about it. And we just got to control what, what we can control. Uh, and that's, you know, the game coming up Saturday. Did it give any chance to spend a few extra days building up to Saturday's game or was it a bit of a write-off? Yeah, we, we didn't feel it right to try and, you know, get the lads in. A lot of our lads get trained down as well. So, there was disruption on the on the train line, I believe, like a trampoline or something gone onto the line between Brighton and Worthing. So, you know, that would have been a problem um, for lads trying to get in. Um, and just the severity of the weather and the winds and stuff, I thought it was a bit, um, you know, unfair. If the games were called off to then try and ask the lads to come in. So, we haven't seen them uh, since Saturday. Um, so, I'm sure they'll be pleased about that. Get a little rest from me, um, but no, it's an opportunity for me to go and watch some games. Went and watched Portsmouth for AFC Wimbledon and been out and watched a, a few games this week, which has been nice. Something a bit different, and you know, content continue my learning, but also get out and see a few players as well. Yeah, good, and it's a good opportunity for you, obviously, to yeah see a bit more football as well. So looking into Saturday then, and obviously the first day for training is today for it. But what are you hoping to take into it, and what are you hoping the players can bring? Um, yeah, we'll obviously analyse uh, Saturday's um, fixture um, against Slough, um, you know, and there'll be lots of positives in there to, to take. Um, you know, we are getting some good areas, creating some chances. Um, got to look at what it looks like um, when the game sort of changes. There's a few sort of teams that have mixed up the game at half time, and we've struggled to sort of adapt. Um, so we've got to, you know, see what that looks like and, and work on that. Um, which, which we'll do um, and yeah just see what sort of personnel we've got available to us really so we've, we've been missing a few as of late um, so yeah we just assess them see where they are and, and see who we've got available for Saturday and speaking of who we've got available Saturday is there any injury news or team news obviously Harrison Mel has been missing lately yeah um, yeah he's going to do some handling that tonight so we see how he sort of gets on with that and providing he's got full range and everything then we're hopeful he'll be okay for Saturday um, Aaron Racine's obviously back from suspension but Jav's now suspended um, and then other than that we've got to assess Joe Ryan Tutty that have took knocks and um, you know Tutty's still feeling a bit groggy after his concussion so you know, we've got to be careful with that protocol and, and see what that looks like yeah, so obviously not ideal to lose a couple of defenders potentially anyway in Joe Wright and um, in Cameron Tart. How much of a boost is it to have Aaron Racine back in the team? Yeah, big boost. Um, Danny Barker as well, sorry. He was obviously going to be missing for a bit now with his hamstring. Um, played him a bit over recent season, so we'll be keen to sort of see um, what we can do to help him out and get that right. Um, big player for us. So, um, yeah, Aaron's massive. He's our, he's our captain um, and you know, Hungerford, uh, you know, put a lot of long throws and a lot of direct balls forward. So we've got to be able to cope with that. And Evan Aaron is a massive plus, uh, plus for us to be able to cope with that. Talking of another experienced defender for us, Joel Colbrand, is there any word on his recovery at the moment? Yeah, Joel and Lewis are ramping up their sort of rehab. So I think they're going to do a little bit of the warm up. Um, probably both of them not likely to make anything. This weekend or Tuesday might be too soon from both, but you know, providing they all come come through it, um, the pair of them, then the following Saturday or the Saturday after that um, will be a bit more realistic for them too. Um, but you know, it's great to have them with their boots on and out there training with us. That's a massive massive boost. Yeah, it'd be good to see them back in a Worthing shirt soon. And you mentioned there about longer throws and a few more direct bits of play from Hungerford that you're expecting. How do you expect to adapt to that and what sort of game are you expecting uh, on Saturday? 
Um, yeah, it won't be the um, first time we've come up against it this season. Um, you know, so it's just, yeah, seeing we, we got done with one at Farnborough where we left the space at the far post, um, which, you know, we, we got to address and, 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 and put right. Um, but other than that, you know, defensively we've, we've, we've coped okay and just got to, yeah, tweak one or two things, concede another free kick on Saturday. So um, just look at look at that and, and see what we can improve on in, in that aspect. And um, yeah, just, just fine tune it and, and, and see, um, you know, firstly who we've got available and then how we're going to cope with um, you know the threat that they they possess.